Remember when spring breakers in Florida wouldn't stop partying, even after the coronavirus pandemic hit the United States? What happened when spring break was over? We can actually track movement of these devices over the remaining weeks of March, seeing where these devices went after spring breakers left the beach. So what you're seeing in this video is what happens if people do not exercise social distancing, where a group of individuals, you know, or a few thousand people in this case, gathered at a beach in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and all the places they've traveled, showcasing how interconnected our world is. Josh Anton runs X-Mode, a company that tracks the movement of devices like cell phones. His team says it's used location data to track where everyone on the beach in Fort Lauderdale in March went after they left, including those spring breakers. From New York to the Midwest, even Canada. You know, the power of this location data, it can be used to understand not only, you know, how people and where people are, are, are traveling post, uh, post gathering, but also potentially to prepare and to be proactive if something happens, right? To be able to identify future hotspots of where the coronavirus could happen before it happens. But the applications of X-Mode's technology go way beyond sunburned co-eds. Anton says the company tracks 25 million devices every month in the United States and millions more around the world. X-Mode says it would be willing to work with governments and other groups to help stop the spread of the coronavirus. We work with uh, you know apps that have a real location use for use case for running location, whether it's transit apps, whether it's uh, weather apps or apps that alert you about the earthquakes happening near you, right? Um, we then integrate our location uh, technology to allow data sharing uh, where a user can opt in to uh, sharing their location data. We comply with GDPR, we com comply with CCPA, but we try to go a step beyond it, which is, um, you know, being what we call privacy conscious. The company claims it licenses that data to third parties, including advertisers, without any personal identifying information. Can your technology be used to track individuals? Can it track me? Um, it could, right? But we don't allow that. And we don't allow any of our partners to do that because we just don't think that's the right thing to do. While Anton says his company makes every effort to keep data secure and doesn't identify the owners of the devices it is tracking, there are serious privacy concerns about this kind of technology. In 2018, a New York Times investigation showed how location data could be used to identify the specific owner of a particular device. You know, I don't think a lot of people realize that even this technology exists, that it's out there. And I think some people are pretty creeped out. What would you say uh, to folks who have concerns when they sort of see that, that you can track devices like this? I'm going to quote Uncle Ben from uh, Spider-Man, which is, with great power comes great responsibility, right? Um, you know, I think there's a fine line. I think it's very important that users consent to this. And it's very important that you act ethically with that data. Mm -hmm.